let's take a look at doing predictions uh, from a linear model uh, that we get from regression. Problem we'll be taking a look at is this one here. Give the following data to predict y when x is equal to 10. Um, so again, our x is 1 through 6, and x is the uh, explanatory variable. The response variable is the y, which is 20, 50, 60, 65, 73, and 91. So let's uh, create a new script, and then I'll do a save, and I'll call this prediction linear model. There we go. And I'm bringing in my x values, which is uh, 1 through 6. Then I'm bringing my y values, which is um, 20, 50... 60, 65, 73, and 91. Okay, now I'm going to have create a model, linear model, and y is explained by x. This is how you should always think of this. Uh, the LM function creates a linear model. We're assigning to this variable name. You can call this whatever you want. And how you read this is y is explained by x the way I think of it anyway. Well, we need our coefficients. So I'm going to say coefficients is equal to coefficients. I think it was the S or not on that. We'll see. There may need to be an S there. And let's just print the coefficients. Okay, so I'm going to do an edit, run all. And it gives us this. Now what it should give us uh, model-wise is um, 12.26, that's our slope, and 16.93 is our y-intercept. And we're going to plug in x equals 10, because it wants us to do a prediction. So we're going to put 10 in for the x. Well, instead of um, putting it in here, where I got this rounded, we're going to plug it into the program. So our answer is going to equal to, and um, let's see, coefficients 2 times 10, plus coefficients 1. And then I'll print my answer just by doing A and S. Okay, now I got this wrong the first time I made this video. <laughs> I had to recreate it, and then I got it right. Um, this right here is coefficient 1. So that's my intercept. And that's why it's here at the end. The second one is coefficients 2. And I took it and multiplied it times my x, which we said was 10. And that'll give us our answer. What I did first is I assumed that it was like normal programming, where um, the first entry was 0 and the second one was 1. That all of your lists, all of your arrays, all of your whatever you want to call them, started index is 0. Well, that wasn't the case. Okay, so let me save that and do an edit run all. I had this happen before. Um, there we go. We do an edit, run all. What I had to do before is when it didn't do my result, I had to highlight all of this and right click and choose run line or selection. So if that happens to you. Okay. Um, let me see. Plugging 10 in for the X. So 10 times my slope would be like 122.57. 122 plus, let's say, 17, um, 139. So that's working. And that would be our answer. That's our prediction. So if you want to use this uh, particular program for future predictions, we could make it a little bit more ro robust. I could have a variable called uh, x value is equal to 10. And instead of hard coding 10 right here, I could say x value. Now if I run it, you see it comes up and uh, gives the same value. But I now, if for future programs, all I do is change these, these values right up here and change whatever value I'm wanting to predict. And then that'd give me my answer. In this video, we took a look at how to do predictions uh, based on a linear model uh, obtained from regression in the R language.